To enable the timer feature in WinPlus IP, in the prompt to preview window, click the burger, then preferences, then the timer tab. In this tab, select when you would like the timer to be displayed on the prompter output. This can be so it is never displayed, only when the timer is active, when the timer is not at zero, or always displayed. For the purposes of this example, we will select always displayed. You will now see the main timer pane. There is an option to change the display colors to show an alert when the timer has reached zero. You can either use the slider or type in the box to set how long you would like the alert to show for. From between 0 to 60 seconds. A format pull-down allows you to select how the time is shown. We will select hours, minutes and seconds. You can now choose the colours of the timer foreground and background in its three states of active, inactive or alert. Click the pull-down to select and apply your colour choices. The position of the timer on screen can be changed using the X and Y sliders. When you are happy with these settings, click Close. To set the time, open the timer window. To do this, in the main toolbar, click Window and Timer. For the purposes of this example, the timer window is positioned across the bottom of the screen. From the buttons on the left, you can start the timer, pause it, reset to zero, and select a count up or count down. To enter a time, click in the input field and type the digits. Press enter or click set to apply this to the timer. Click the start timer button to begin the count. With the settings in this example, when started, the timer output will begin with the inactive colours, then change to the active colours while counting down to zero. At zero, it will then display the alert colours for three seconds, and finally show the inactive colours again. You can add or remove time from an existing count by entering the new numbers into the input box, then clicking the plus or minus buttons. The input will always show hours, minutes and seconds, but the timer output will display in the format you've chosen. In this example, the format chosen is seconds.